Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be making our way to the Ainsel River, Maine. But before we do, like always, let's talk about everything I did off screen. And honestly, I did absolutely nothing. Eventually, we will get to leveling, but I think I want to wait another video or two before we actually level up again, just so everybody that may not be caught up can go ahead and catch up. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to start with summoning an D Beholder of Death. Let's let him summon up real fast. We'll go ahead and summon in our Mimic tier. Use our Wondrous Flask of Physic. Heal ourselves. And then we're going to want to put on Flame, Cleanse Me, and use our Seal. These Gargoyles that we're going to be fighting today can cause poison. They spew out a poisonous cloud. Just like that. So just back up. Try not to get hit with that poison. Now we have the second one coming after us. Let's see if one of the AIs will take its aggro so we don't have both of them attacking us at the same time. Back up, spewing the poison. And we got poisoned. Go ahead and clear our poison. This is the hardest part is when both of them are attacking at the same time. Took out one of them. That and the poison. The poison buildup is just very obnoxious. So just be careful for that. That was close, everybody. And we got it before it spewed out the poison. Awesome possum. This is not an easy boss. If you're struggling, do not be scared to summon in one of your friends. This boss fight can be very difficult. So for killing both of the gargoyles, we get the gargoyles greatsword. And then we get the gargoyles twin blade. Both of them are strength weapons. I think the twin blade can be a strength or a dex weapon. So keep that in mind. We're going to run over here. We're going to light this grace. And then right over here, we can go in this coffin, but the area that it's going to bring us to is a little more difficult for me and I'm sure some of the people watching. So we're just going to leave it be for now. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to zoom out and we're going to go over to Ronnie's Rise. I'll see everybody over there. Let's go ahead and go talk to Ronnie. Give her the finger slaying blade. When we get to the top, we're going to send the elevator back down. And 
And then we're also going to make sure that we're on Blood Flame Blade. We're going to need that a little later into the video. Let's go ahead and talk to Ronnie. Ah, it was thee, not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Ah. But before I leave, I must entrust thee with this. Take it. My discarded flesh lieth beyond the seal unlocked by it, upon which is carved the curse mark of thy desire. I can fathom what thy purpose might be. Neither of us is welcomed by the brighter path, I see. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. So now what we're going to do is go to the Carrion Study Hall. So I'll see everybody at the Study Hall Entrance Grace. Let's go ahead and put the inverted statue that Ronnie gave us on the pedestal. Now that the statue is on that pedestal, everything is upside down, which is going to allow us to get to the top of this tower. Be careful, we do have these creepy hand creatures, but we also have that one enemy that we originally fought when we first came to the Carrion Study Hall. He's back. And he is annoying. We're going to turn around. We got an item to grab over here first. This is going to be the Mask of Confidence. Now we can go fight him. What I like to do is take out the hands that are over here first. Be really careful because he is still going to be shooting stuff at you. Along with having enemies fight you at the same time. going to try to shoot you with his magic arrow. Maybe. Sometimes he glitches out. We're going to have to take out this knight first. Don't be scared to heal. This is definitely a spot that sucks. You're going to get hit. If you don't, then you're god tier. And I commend you, sir or lady. So for killing him, we're going to get the spell Lucidity. That's going to allow us to cause sleep and madness buildup when we cast it. Pretty unique spell. Right here, we're going to roll off. We're going to hop on this chandelier. 
And then right here, we want to get a running jump to the chandelier right over here. And then the beam just below us, we want to hop down on. And then the beam right here as well. For some glintstone fireflies. Not really useful. I mean, I guess it can be. It's crafting material, but not useful to me. And then we're going to inch across here to get ourselves some holy proof dried liver. And then we want to again inch across. And then we're going to roll off. And we're going to take the elevator down, which is technically taking us up, even though we're going down. But everything is upside down here, so kind of self-explanatory. To go up, we have to go down. I'm going to hop up here, and then we're going to open up this door. So we have a grace right here, and good thing we do, we're going to have a boss fight in just a moment. First let's sit at this grace so we can get all our stuff back. And this is where we're going to want to use our blood flame blade. So after this staircase, at the next staircase, a godskin noble is going to spawn in and we're going to have to fight it. So get your wondrous flask of physic ready, use that, buff your blade, two hand, try not to get hit by his fire attack like me. And then take him out. It's not too hard. He can be difficult. There's quite a few attacks he can have. He'll like puff out and then start rolling at you. That is a very annoying attack. Thank goodness that we staggered him before he could do that. But for killing him, we get the Godskin Noble set. Pretty cool looking armor. I actually like the skinnier version of them. I like their armor better. It just looks cooler, at least the hood does. Just keep running. I know it's a long run. Not much we can do about it once we get to the end. We're going to open up the big door, go up the elevator, Let's go ahead and light this grace and then we're going to go to the top and we're actually going to see Ronnie's body.
the body she cast off so that she could go into the doll. And this is her body. We're going to pick up the Curse Mark of Death along with the Stargazing or Stargazer heirloom. Sorry, words, right? Now that we've completed all of that, we're going to go back to Ronnie's Rise. I'll see everybody over there. Let's go towards the elevator here that we sent down earlier. We're going to take it back up. And then we notice Ronnie is gone. Let's go ahead and light this grace. Why they put a grace right here when you have one right at the bottom, I have no clue. We never come back here. I mean, I guess you can if you want to reminisce about Ronnie. It's your life. Do what you want. Okay, before we go any further, we're going to go into our map. We're going to put down a marker right about here. And then we're going to come outside the tower and go over to the third tower. We're going to hop on torrent. We're going to follow the path down. And then we're going to veer off to the left and follow the path up here. And this will take us straight to the tower. Not a far ride. We're going to climb this ladder. And then before we go through this doorway, we're actually going to come right over here to open up this chest and get Ronnie's attire. A really cool attire. I like it a lot. We're going to come to the top. We have a portal. We're going to go through this portal. Now we're at the Ansel River Main. Right here, we're going to pick up a miniature of Ronnie. We're going to come over to this Grace. We're going to sit at it so that we can talk to this miniature. It's going to ignore us the first two times we're going to try to talk to it. But on the third time, it'll actually talk to us. So there's one, there's two, and finally, here's three. Oh, a dogged fellow, aren't we? Or is it merely thy habit to talk to dolls? Fine. Fine. I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guise. But now the cat is out the bag. I cannot allow thee thy freedoms. Perform for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. The name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee. I will not brook disobedience in this matter. So we're going to have to kill a baleful shadow for her. And we will be doing that in the next video. For now, we're going to activate this summoning pool. And we're going to be making our way through the Ansel River main. 
We want to be careful. There's a centipede thing over here. We're going to run over here, grab an item. Run over here, grab an item. By the time we grab that item, it's going to be shooting at us. We're going to run straight over here. And then right back here. We want to take care of these mud guys, mud men. I don't know what to call them. I honestly forget. I think they are called mud men. It's just been a while since I've read the lore on them. Oh my goodness, all these trees are in the way. think that's all of them that is so we're gonna bring our bow out and we're gonna do the same thing as we did last time with this creature the centipede creature I believe they're called um, Estella's let's do the best she can There we go. It's dead. For killing it, we're going to get a Somber Smithing Stone 7. So we'll be able to upgrade our Bloodhound's Fang to plus 7. Good stuff. We're also going to get some Ghost Glove Wart 6s here. That will allow us to upgrade our Mimic tier as well to plus 6. Over here, we're going to have these flowers. Be really careful. They can cause madness buildup. And that is not a fun debuff to deal with. Come over here and then right over here, if we can, get the Clayman Ashes. That's what they're called. Clayman, not Mudman. I knew it was something like that. Mudman, Clayman. Just going to backtrack here. Over here, we're going to get a couple of Ghost Glove Warts as well. Right here, we're going to get a Ghost Glove Wart 7. So we'll be able to upgrade our Mimic tier twice. It's going to be really good and useful. Just dodge all those Claymen. Not worth killing. Get some stimulant bullets or stimulant bullets, something like that. And then over here, we're gonna have some ants with wings. These ones are obnoxious, but not nearly as obnoxious as the one we're going to be fighting here in a minute. Want to bring it over here? Do not go any further over there. Take out that ant. And then right over here is probably going to be the hardest part 
in this whole video besides the gargoyle bosses. I'm going to go ahead and drink me a wondrous flask of physic because this guy just absolutely sucks. I hate these ants. They got really big heads and they just, they're very hard to dodge. Thank goodness that went better than I expected. But you want to get to the side of them and just spam R1. Once you get to the side of them, it's pretty easy. Unless they get in front of you. When they get in front of you, can't really do damage to them because they have that big shielded head. There's a guy right here too. Take him out. Grab ourselves some Formic Rock. You don't have to. It's just crafting material. And then we're going to make a few drops here. This one right here. By the way, down there is the place where we fought one of those centipede enemies for the first time. So we're kind of coming full circle at this point. I'm going to hop up over here. We're going to open up this chest and then we're going to get the wing of Estelle. This is actually a weapon made from those centipede creatures and that's why I think they're called Estelle. So I don't know, maybe we do fight a boss eventually called Estelle. So maybe it's only one of those creatures named Estelle or they're all named Estelle. I have no clue, but it is a weapon made from one of their wings. Grab ourselves a Somber Smithing Stone 6. Good stuff. That weapon is an intelligence classed weapon. Pretty cool. It shoots out like a slash of magic. I've never personally used it. A lot of my friends have. They really enjoy it. It looks really cool as well. We're going to come down here, get ourselves another ghost glove wart. And then we are finally in Noxtella, the eternal city. Really cool. This place looks amazing. We're going to hop down right here. We're going to light this grace and we're going to activate the summoning pool. And then after that, we're going to go to the round table hold for just a moment. So let's go to our map and I'll see everybody at the round table hold. Let's go ahead and come up here and check on Rogier, see how he's doing. He does not seem to be doing very well. We're going to come over here. I want to show off some of the stuff that we have gotten from killing some bosses. So if we're killing the Regal Ancestor, we can get the Winged Great Horn. Pretty cool weapon. It's definitely a strength slash dex based weapon. And then the Ancestral Spirit Horn, that is a talisman and it restores FP upon defeating enemies, can be very useful for a lot of spell casters. And then over here we get the Remembrance of the Star Scourge. We can get the Star Scourge Greatsword, really cool, it's almost like a strength slash intelligence based greatsword. Whenever you two hand it, you'll have two swords. You can do some really cool attacks with it. And then we get the lion great bow, which is kind of self-explanatory. It, it's a great bow. Also, now you can get Radon's armor set from her because we killed Radon, along with an infinite amount of Radon's spears. 
So if you want to use the Lion Great Bow and you want to use Radon Spears, you can always buy the, an infinite amount over here. Good stuff. Now let the work. Let's go ahead and level up our Mimic Tier and our Bloodhound's Fang. Greetings. Are you here for spirit? Well, I took you no matter to lay out your own. And then we'll come over here to level up Bloodhound's Fang one time. We'll go ahead and level up our Longbow and our Dragon Communion Seal and then our Claymore. And now that we have all that leveled up, let's go ahead and zoom out, hit R3, and we're going to fast travel back to the Noxtella Eternal City Grace. I'll see everybody over there. Alrighty everyone, I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, go ahead and hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.